In this video series, we will be using Beautiful Soup. Beautiful Soup is a Python library for parsing data out of HTML files. And so what we, we will be doing a project um, based series. And so we're going to be using the CIA World Factbook, and we're going to be looking at different countries and pulling out the economy, economic data. So if we scroll down here, um, so for every country, there is a bunch of economic data. Um, it first starts off with a description, followed by a bunch of metrics. Um, some of these metrics include uh, GDP. Um, it could also include consumption, uh, different sectors for the economy, the labor force, and just, just a whole bunch of stuff that we'll be pulling out and um, storing. And so what we got is, um, so on this page, we're going to start with this. We're going to grab a list of countries. And for each country, the only thing that changes is up here in the URL bar. This is probably hard to see on the web page itself. I've been able to expand, but there's a two, two digit or two character, a two character code for each country. Um, so the first one that we had loaded here was Japan, and that was um, JA. So if we uh, change this to GM, we will get Germany. So they're not like the, like what you think the country codes would be like Japan probably should have been JP and then Germany should have been DE and so on. So they are all um, different. So we have to uh, parse all of these. And we can do that from this list. So in here, we got a list of countries. And then for every single one of these, um, if we go ahead and inspect the element. Okay, it looks like we can make this larger down in here. So if we go ahead and inspect element over the anchor tag, um, this is going to be pretty small, but let's go ahead and expand it. So for Ireland, the two character code is going to be EI. And if we go to one of the previous ones, uh, this one is going to be IM. So we do need to parse all of these. It will be by the um, anchor tag. The link uh, information is where, we can, where we're going to be getting this data from. I'm going to create a new file here called country list. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and import. Uh, we're going to need requests because we need to download the web page. Now we need to import beautiful soup so we can import that. And we can go ahead and use pip to install beautiful soup. And the latest version is version four. And once that's successfully installed, we can go ahead and use that. The first thing we need is create a variable for the URL. And let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch back to our web page, and this is the page that we will be using. And let's go ahead and set up another variable called response. And we're going to be using our request library to download the page. So once we get the response back, we need to pull out the HTML. Let's set a variable for that. Okay, so now once we have the HTML stored as a string, we can go ahead and use beautiful soup. So I'm going to create a variable called soup. And so we need to call the class, pass in HTML, and then we need to pass in uh, the parser type in which we'll use the HTML parser. And if we return back to the page, uh, so if we do an inspect element on this entire table, uh, we'll see that we have a table with an ID of rank order, uh, which that the fact that it has an ID and it's the only one, it's going to make that very easy to grab the table. So we'll just create a new variable called table. So we need to call the a find method on our beautiful soup class. And we'll set an ID and then, or pass in a 
name parameter of rank order. And I'm going to set the country codes to an empty list. And as we go through the table and iterate through the table rows, we're going to um, append to the country codes list. And to grab the rows, I'm going to set a new variable called rows. And we'll go, we're going to use the table and then the beautiful soup find all method. So we want to find all the table rows. And we'll pass in TR. Uh, so if we look at this again, um, we're going to have a table row for every single item in the list. So we need to grab this uh, TR element before we grab the, the column that we need. So we need to iterate through these. So we'll just set up a for loop. So I'm going to set a new variable called target column. Because you recall, there's multiple uh, TD elements or multiple columns in here. So we want this one that's going to have a class of region because the other ones are not going to be helpful. All we need to do, the only thing we're trying to get out of this is the LS for the to know what uh, country code that we're going to get our list from. So we're going to use the final method again on the row. Uh, this time it will be uh, TD for the for the uh, table column and then the region. So if we pass in a second parameter, the first thing it's going to look for um, is the class name. So a TD with the class of region. So as you can see, the first one that we have is going to be the header row. So this first one is not going to have any, um, it's only going to have table header tags. It's not going to have the regular TD tags that we're looking for. So we need to have a conditional statement um, so we don't get a, some sort of a value error. So if target column, that means if it has a TD element that meets our criteria, I'm going to set up a new variable here called link. And then we'll set that to the target column. And what this does, it, when you use the find all method in beautiful soup, it's going to return an array. So what we want is the zero item. And from there, we want to find the anchor tag. And if we just look at this one more time, uh, we have a table row and then our TD element and then the A tag. And so the A tag is actually what we're really targeting. Um, so once we grab that, uh, we go ahead and print this out. So what we're going to do is grab our table, loop through the table rows, find the correct column. Once we find the correct column, uh, we can grab the anchor tag. And if this all works properly, we can just go ahead and run this. And we should see a list of anchor tags if we uh, uh, run the file. Okay, and you can see for every single all 200 plus countries, we have basically the entire anchor tag for that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get the uh, href um, attribute. And then once we have the href attribute, we can parse um, the two the two character uh, country code out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete our print statement here. And I'm gonna set a new variable called href. And so, so since we have the link, it's a in within beautiful soup, we can just um, grab the attribute. I meant to type in href, um, just merely by doing that. It's that simple. And let's go ahead and set a variable for the country code. And what I'm gonna do is create a new function. So I'm gonna just come up here. And we'll call this country code for, um, let's just call it for href. And let's take in the href from below. And I'm passing our href variable. So inside of our function, uh, what we need to do is get the, so we have this HTML right here. So we can just grab the uh, index for that. So I'm gonna set a new variable called IDX HTML. 
So we're going to call the index method, the string method. And we'll just get the index of .html within the entire um, href string. And once we get that, our code is going to be, so href, that's our original variable. So now that we have the index.html, we know it's a two digit code. So we can do that and then subtract two. And then, so what we're doing is slicing this, um, the string. So we're taking two to the left, two characters to the left of our index. So if our index.html right here is, let's, I think it's about the 10th character, then uh, we're slicing these two items. And then, so on the right, we're gonna need uh, just the index. So we're basically um, slicing between these and then we're just going to return the code. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then, so we should be able to print our country code. So I'm gonna save and run the file. And yeah, so we got basically a full list of just these country codes. So we need to append to our um, array or our list right here. So let's go country codes dot append. And we'll just pass in country code. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna create a new uh, folder called files. We're gonna go ahead and save this um, to a text file. And in the next video, what we're gonna do is loop through those and we're gonna use the text file to um, target the individual countries to pull out all the economic data. So let's go ahead and set up our contacts manager with open and we're gonna open a file. And we'll call this countries.txt. And we're going to append to the file and our file will just set the variable F. And so let's go ahead and loop through our country codes. And we need to call the f.write method. And let's go ahead and run that. And if we go to our files and load it, uh, it looks like we are not don't have any line breaks, so just put it all into one thing. Let's go ahead and delete that. So what we want to do is add a line break, so let's just go ahead and add a backslash n. And then if we were to rerun this, uh, go to our countries list, and yeah, so we have a on each line we have a separate country code, which is what we want because when we go ahead and iterate through these and download the data, it'll be in a format that's that'll be convenient for us. So this concludes the very first part of using Beautiful Soup to pull the economic data for each country. In the next video, we will target a single country page. Um, so we will be using a page like this and we will be going in here for, for a single country and pulling out the data. And then once we're done with that, we'll use our list of country codes and then loop through all those and process that data into a structured data uh, format such as JSON.